Hey guys, guess what time it is? It's Saturday morning premiere time. Chugga chugga choo choo. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for deciding to come and spend a little bit of time with me on this fine Saturday morning, aka afternoon. I mean, not aka, but you know, some people it's morning still, some people it's afternoon. For me, it's afternoon. But I got this bag. I got this bag of stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. It's my most fun part of the job is getting to jump out the beautiful silver. And I already took it out of the box so you wouldn't see me struggle, but I'm struggling every day. I'm struggling, struggling. All right, here comes here comes the highlight of my week. Jumping out some silver. Oh, and, and I get some free shipping material. Well, I mean, it's not free, but, you know, it came with. I bought it, so I get to use it. Let's see what awesome things that I get to take one and put in my stack this week. Man, my stack this month on silver is not super great. But I've been getting more numismatic stuff and... This month, I didn't really have time to get a whole lot of numismatic stuff. Well, I mean, I guess I got some decent decent stuff uh, the week before and the week before. So, yeah, I got some decent decent numismatic stuff. But I just haven't had time to look for some. So, let's see where we're going to start. Where am I going to start? I guess I'm going to start in here. Got a tube. 25. 25 comes in a tube. Get my dirty little glove going here. And hurt. Do you think you can guess what this is? <laughs> it's Charles. It's it's the two pounds. It's two pounds of Great Britainness. Actually, I feel like I should have more than one glove. Hey, where did that sticker come from? Yeah, let me get it. An extra glove. No glove. No love. Because I don't want to get my cruddy fingerprints all over this. Sticker, sticker, sticker. Alright, what is it? It's something super awesome, in my opinion. It's the 2024 Great Britain Britannia slash Liberty. So there's the, the Great Britain one from like the Britannia's. It's so proofy, it's hard to tell. I guess that's it. I guess it's heads up. Got those Triton. But this is a groundbreaking numismatic relationship between the Royal Mint and the U.S. Mint in bullion form. I've seen a lot of people got these. I think they paid like 95 bucks for the ones like in the... Um... Okay, there it is. So it is upside down. Because uh, it's like what made me flip it is because of the torch. Man, these things are so shiny that it's like all you're getting is my um, reflection of my cell phone. Call me on the cell phone. All right, get it together. I'm trying to show one item and I keep getting squirreled. All right, it's in the bullion form. Yeah, because like a lot of people pay 95 bucks for the... And I'm pretty sure it's the same design. The same design. Some some people paid 95 bucks for the one in the box. But, I mean, it's the same design. It's probably not... It's probably not, like, as quality controlled as the other one. That they paid 95 bucks for. But this is, like, the bullion version! So that's pretty cool. And I don't know what the mintage... It's going to be on these. I guess they'll just mint however many they want to mint. So there's the first one. So there's the... I'm going to be keeping one of those. I'm going to put it in a capsule. Like one of these capsules. Screw it. Let's put it in the capsule right now. I flung my gloves off. I hate wearing gloves, but I just don't want to fingerprint up. And I got the sticker again. Put it in here. Put it in there. So, so far I only have 10 ounces 
for my um, February stack. So I'm going to put that over there and then we'll see what my grand total of February is. All right, what's next? Up next, we got the 2023 Fiji Mythical Creatures Colorized Unicorn. Man, that one, it looks way nicer than it did. Looks way nicer than it did on the screen. Pictures don't always do justice. I wish I would have got more. But these are limited to 2,000. So only 2,000 people can have this cool unicorn with this rainbow. Taste the rainbow. But yeah, I'm really digging it. It looks really, really, really nice. And then I got some uncolorized ones. The uncolorized ones are only 5,000. So these are super limited. You can only get 5,000 of these. Only 5,000 people can own those. And only 2,000 can own these. Oh, it's, it is different. Because this one's more proofy. I didn't realize that. But, I mean, the price differential is like 10 bucks though, or something like that. So... That's why I only got a few of these, but they're different, so that's pretty cool. That's going to be a cool adding to my collection. It's like I'm up in the air. Should I cut it out of these and because it'll be easier to store because I don't think I can get it in my... No, it won't, it won't fit in my um, roll thing. That's, all, that's what I hate. Original packaging. Should I keep it in the original packaging or should I cut it out? Or should I just get two of each? One in the original packaging and then cut one out and then so it can go in my um, my round box? I don't know. Decisions, decisions. What do we have next? What do we have? We have this. It's a lunar dragon and a phoenix. So that must be the dragon, that must be the phoenix. It's a Lunar Dragon by D.G. Smallings using a single line style portraying a dragon and a phoenix. And then here's, I already steamed it up. Here's the back. So you can really tell it's a dragon there. And then the dragon and the phoenix. It almost looks like there's a hole through the coin. Yeah, there's no hole. But right there, it doesn't that almost look like there's a hole in the coin? But then when you hit it a certain way, you can tell that it's not a hole. But I had to do a double take to make sure there's like no hole on the other side. So, playing tricks with my eyes. And these are limited to 8,888. So only 8,888 people can have one of these cool things. And what's the last thing? Alright, so I'm going to put that over there. Um, I'll put this over there, and then I'll have to cut one of these off this sheet. But the last thing I got here was the new 2024 Kookaburra. It's in flight over a gorge with a snake. But the mintage, oh, that's a kind of different depiction of Charles on the back. It's like a smaller head, Charles. I don't know. I'm kind of digging it. It's frosty. <laughs> but the mintage of these are far out. <laughs> it says limited to 500,000. So a lot of people can have these. A lot of people can have these. But the other ones, a lot of people can't have. Only 2,000 and then 5,000. So I like to get... the the limited stuff so I might just put two in my stack because it's super limited and what else did I get all right here's some stuff I picked up this week for my stack so this is gonna go in the bar I don't think I have one of these it's a 2013 year of the snake one Troy ounce so there's another ounce going into my February stack then Keith picked this up for me. This is kind of cool. It's like a little cupid inside a bezel. Especially for you. GSM. That probably means like golden statement. I could be wrong, but 
So I thought that's kind of cool. So that's going in my February stack. What else do I have? Okay, I think that's all I got from there. Oh no, I got this. I got this. This one's kind of sticky. It's Father's Day. I think it's might be vintage. Well, 1992. 1992, is that considered vintage? <laughs> It's a year before I had my first child, but it's a Father's Day round, and it, it was like in a plastic, it was like in a plastic like these, and it, so it got kind of funky, so I cut it out. It's like, should I leave it like this, or should I give it a bath? I don't know. It's, I mean, it's just bullion, so it, cleaning bullion isn't really that big of a thing, because there's no like monetary value. It's not a coin. So let's see how many, how much. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and plus I'm going to get a kookaburro. So that's eight. I have ten. So my stack of silver this month is going to be 18 ounces of silver and a 10th ounce platinum so i'm kind of writing it down so i can keep track so i got 18 ounces of silver this month a 10th ounce platinum and i didn't really have time to look for some numismatic so here's the numismatics that's going to be put into my stack this month because i want to put some kind of numismatic in my stack every month and i don't want to go with just plain old like 90 percent like what people, some people consider junk silver. Because that to me is just super boring. So I can't do it. I can't collect the boring stuff. So like I just decided I'll do a couple Morgans. Because Morgans are like snowflakes. They have all their own characteristics. So looking at the Morgans, it's never boring. Because I mean look at all the different characteristics. There's a mint mark. The mint mark is so dirty, it's hard to tell what it is. Does that look like a D or an S? I think it's a D. 78D. But I'm going to get my loop in a minute so I can be 100% sure. And I got a 1902. Not bad. It's got still got a lot of details. And then it's got my favorite mint mark. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know, my favorite mint mark is... Oh, oh, uh, oh, there's another O. 19020. Hey, are those the same date? Yeah, 19020. They're both the same. They're the same, but different. This one's still got a lot of meat over here, and she's like flashing you because she still has a little bit of luster. And this one is like wore out and tonaged. This one's been toned by its environment. And the breast feathers are smoother. Ah. Nope, I was wrong. It's an S. So that mint mark's an S. I use my loop. You might be able to get a little sne sneak peek of it. But anyhow, I think I've kept you guys long enough. Let's go on to somewhere else. So I appreciate y'all. If you liked it, please give me a like a likey. And if you have something nice to say about it, or you just say, Adriel, hey, you've lost your mind. Up in here, up in here. You can give me like a little comment right down there below me. And until next time, get squirreled. It's fun.